Welcome back to the Techmoto channel and the next video in the electronics playlist. Today we're going to be looking at switches. Now you might think that switches are fairly simple. Um, they're used in everyday life, in everyday objects, uh, but we're going to go through a few different types and how they're used in electronics. A switch is basically a device which is designed to interrupt the current flow in a circuit. And what I mean by that, it can make or break an electrical circuit. Every electronic device or uh, electrical device uses at least one switch to perform an on or off operation for that device. And so switches are part of a control system and without switches, um, the control operation of that device cannot be achieved. Now, a switch can perform two functions, uh, namely fully on uh, by closing the contacts or fully off by opening the contacts. So when the contacts of a switch are closed, the switch creates a closed path for the current to flow around your circuit. Hence, the load consumes the power from the source. Now, when the contacts of a switch are open, no power will be consumed by the load because the current can't flow around the circuit. Now, this might seem uh, fairly straightforward and fairly simple. Um, there are various different types of switches. There's mechanical switches which have to be operated physically by moving or pressing or releasing something. Or there are electronic switches which do not require any physical uh, interaction with it to control the circuit. Um, but there is a complexity to this with different types of switch and that will, that's what we're going to go through now. So you can get lots of different types of switches. You can get push button switches, you can get toggle switches, you can get limiting switches. Uh, there's float switches, flow switches, pressure switches, all sorts of different types. We're going to start with how many um, contacts the switch has. Um, and this is denoted by uh, poles and throws. So you can get SPSTs, which are single poles and single throws. You can get double poles and double throws, which is the DPDT. You can get single pole double throw, which is SPDT and so on. Um, and we're just going to go through a few of those and how they're used in electronic circuits. So we're going to start off with the simplest type of switch, the SPST, or the single pole, single throw switch. Now what that means is that there is one input contact and one output contact. So this switch is used to switch something either on or off. Or when we talk about switches, we say that you either make, which is to turn it on, or you break, which is to turn it off. Now the contacts of an SPST can either be normally open in its resting state or normally closed. These can also be referred to as push to make or push to break. Um, so if you want to break the circuit, if you want to turn it off, you have to press the button. Or if you want to make the circuit, you have to press the button to actually make the connection to your load. Now let's move on to the single pole double throw switch or the SPDT. Now this switch has three terminals. One of them is the input contact and the other two are the output contacts. So one input contact is the pole and the two output contacts are the throws. These can be used in a variety of different ways. You might want to have it uh, so that the switch changes over the connection uh, from the input to two choices of outputs. Um, or you might just want to leave one side of it open uh, to use it as a single pole, single throw. Um, quite a versatile component. Now that brings us on to the double pole, single throw switch, the DPST. The DPST consists of four terminals, two input contacts and two output contacts. And this component acts just like two parallel SPSTs or single pole single throws uh, next to each other. When you throw the switch, both of them move at the same time, but there's no electrical connection between the two switches. So you can actually operate two separate circuits with this switch by pressing one button. So the next switch is the double pole double throw switch, and this is the one that most people get wrong. The double pole double sw throw switch has six terminals, two of which are input contacts and the remaining four are the output contacts. Now in the same way as the previous switch, there are two individual switches here which are operated by one uh, operation, um, which means you can operate two separate individual circuits. However, you have double throws on the end of each pole. Now because of the versatility of these types of switches and the many different variations that you can buy, you can get any outcome uh, that you desire. So if you wanted a single pole and a quadruple throw, or if you wanted a single pole and uh, 10 throws, you can buy those. You can buy rotary switches, you can buy all sorts of different types um, to uh, design anything that you want for your electronic solution. 
Now, we're not going to go into electronic switches um, because electronic switches, otherwise known as solid state switches, um, have no physical moving parts. But in future videos, we cover things like transistors, the NPNs and the PNPs. We'll cover power diodes. We'll cover uh, MOSFETs. We'll cover lots and lots of different uh, components that you can use to switch your circuit electronically. Uh, but for now, we're just going to stick with the physical ones. And I hope this video has been useful to you. Again, if you have any questions, please do leave them in the comments below. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, then please do leave a comment. As ever, please subscribe, uh, hit that like button. And if you want notifications for future videos, then hit that bell icon. And I'll see you soon.